and wow so glad we're getting a master grade of the narrative salutations fellow hobbyists and welcome to the toyama 23 hobby channel we now have 3,000 subscribers thank you all for subscribing and sticking to the channel and all your support this is a huge milestone for the channel never have i thought this many fellow hobbyists would be interested in the videos i make thank you all again once more and please give this video a like hit the subscribe and notification bell if you're new and join me as i speculate about the master grade narrative gundam verka it seems that mr katoki hajime is on fire as we already have two verka kits in the bag for next year coming out in april and june but this video will focus on the narrative because the big question is will it be an awesome kit before the kit releases let's try to find out hobby heads on and let the speculation begin first off i noticed for 2023 we only had one master grade which was a verka and next year two verkas and maybe just one more maybe i hope it seems that bandai either was focusing more on other lines you know, like the Witch from Mercury, we have lots of great high grades from there. And not much on the Master Grade line after the release of the Zeta Furka. Or they were putting a lot of effort into the behind the scenes to make this narrative Gundam. Who knows? But if it's the latter case, we might be looking at the best Master Grade for 2024. So let's talk about what goes into making this kit. Well, two epic kits actually. The Master Grade Unicorn Verka. I know some of you guys don't think it's a good kit, but I can't deny the fact that the Psycho Frame parts were epic. I mean, when you shine a UV light on it, it just burst on your mint spice. And it seems some of the Psycho Frames are used on this narrative Gundam, but tweaked slightly. As you can see on this picture and this picture, looks like Katoki really is zooming in on the details for this kit and what's awesome is that these new parts can be used with any master grade unicorn that's not the master grade extreme to read more about these in detail buy the kit and I'm sure it will be explained in the instruction manual or go to the official Gundam.info website and the second kit that plays a part in developing the narrative is the very very epic way ahead of its time Verka RX-93 New Gundam which only major problem is the slightly weak ankles and fin funnels and the New Gundam was a master grade that's flying close to the perfect grade territory you know I mean there never was any other master grade that came close to this many details and engineering some parts so small i needed tweezers well the sazabi maybe but even the high new verga was dialed down quite significantly i hope this new kit will be like that because i want to see that over engineering one more time but you know balance so how is the narrative kit like new Gundam? Here. See the similarities? And the guy that made that epic kit is making this and we have seen Verka kits get better and better and away from that beautiful hand grenade category. So it's like strawberries and cream, you know? It's a recipe only for epicness. Oh, and one more kit that might have played a part was the narrative high grade and that was a great high grade no doubt one of the best high grade of its year but let's do a comparison and scrutinize them details and wow so glad we're getting a master grade of the narrative when the high grade came out i didn't think it was bulky looking but next to the master grade i'm so happy katoki decided to make it i noticed he has been making certain kits buffer but he is going back to his older ammo of small head big chest and long legs differences mostly proportion wise more details like scribing here and lower chest is slightly different the cockpit we get that full frame for the windows 
details to inner frame that peeks out on the arms, legs, and the... some... Um, dots. The shoulder armor is smaller than the high grade. The chest has that vortex generators added. The biggest difference I can spot are the legs, which has quite a bit of a difference. That's all I can see for comparison. Looking at the back, we see those details into the thrusters, just like the new Gundam. It's nice to see a different color on piping here on the back of the knee pit, but sadly it's painted. So that's one part that needs painting. The back of the shield. Yes, this is what we like. This part on the high grade was one of the biggest complaint. Next picture. The biggest thing I caught my attention is here. Seems like the shoulders does the same as the high grade widened to improve the range of motion. If that isn't the case, perhaps the lower neck area tilts forward. And that's cool too. But what really piques my interest are these hinges. Really looking forward to seeing what they actually do. Nice that they give you the option to remove all the psycho frame and assemble the basic unit. To do this with the high grade, you need to buy that huge Apex. Next, I want to mention NordVPN is having a bunch of sales now that we are close to the holiday season. Keep it safe with NordVPN and have a safe internet experience next year. Link below. So it seems the amount of effort into the engineering was focused on the legs, the psycho frames and the core fighter. Speaking of the core fighter, let's zoom into them. I think this core fighter was what made Katoki worked on this project. As he said, and I quote, due to a desire to see and draw core fighter in this era. And it is a very unique core fighter, I must say. Not as unique as the GPO tree, wink wink, nudge nudge, Katoki if you're listening. Though I am excited for it. And uh, come to think of it, I have not built a core fighter yet. This one has a pterodactyl vibe to it. The one concern many have when building Gundam that has a core fighter is that the chest articulation is no articulation. But Kotoki made sure this variable hip movement can compensate for it and that may be forward neck movement too. If you are concerned about articulation, think of the double zeta verka. It's a poser despite having a core fighter and bulk. Now let's look at that other thing that defines the master grade, the cockpit. The white piece moves up before the canopy shifts. Nice. Wow. Love the details like that. And we have the Michelin Man. Wow. Jonah in the suit with extra stuff. Wow. You know, for him to be in that suit in that core fighter is very uh, tight. So I don't think he has legs to fit in that core fighter. Turns out they also give you extra runners for the cycle frame in dark gray because they know not everyone likes the pink cycle frame on the narrative. And you can put it on to look like the power down mode or paint it to any color you want. I like blue, like the end of the movie, you know, when the phoenix shared its energy with the narrative, you know. Watch, Bandai is gonna do that blue inner frame as P Bandai. Or maybe painted metallic green, that looks good too. Actually, looking at this, looks like a complete narrative Gundam. It doesn't look like the Scarecrow as it is nicknamed. Finally, they have these special stickers introduced with the perfect great Unleashed Granddaddy and the MGEX Freedom. But this is how Katoki pushes the envelope this time. By using it on the eyes and cameras. Also, they have the option to look like those eyes the same way the Master Grade Super Deformed does. You know, it's so special. You know, like, so you can see the cameras under the glass. So, what's my big speculation? They will do P Bandai for B packs. For sure. <laughs> I'm just joking. Any real hobbyist will see that coming. I think this is going to be the best Master Grade of the year. 
it's giving me the origin master grade vibes and that was a smash despite being simple with that said what are your thoughts share them below thank you for tuning in and please subscribe if you have not yet give this video a like and hit that notification bell and guys keep things awesome keep the hobby going and keep the hobbyist alive i am toyama 23 signing out so they have the narrative verka, Sinanju Stein verka, please make Unit Zero Tree verka, Fenix. To go with these guys, the P Bandai Fenix does not count. I would like to see the Master Grade EX Unicorn with Unit Zero Tree's head covered in gold like the Hyakushiki 2.0 but a touch more yellow and two Arm Armor DE with tails on them with new water slide decals. Perhaps like silver to contrast the gold or copper for markings that's usually red. And finally, no LEDs. I can't afford those stuff. Or that MS cage, you don't need that. And don't make it P Bandai. If memory serves me right, there have been no P Bandai Verkas. And I can't afford it. But here is the pitch, Mr. Katoki. We need a good Phoenix. Hashtag Phoenix Verka if you would like that to happen. It should be as easy as coming up with this new Sinanju Stein Verka, right? Or just make that Master Grade G-Self already, Mr. Katoki-san. Please.